Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Gabriel and today we're going to do another Twin Flame energy reading for today. Or um, This is a timeless reading though, so whether you find it on the day that it's uploaded, no matter where you're at on your journey, there is a message for you. So I am going to be pulling from the Soul's Journey Lesson Cards by James Von Prong. And we we actually just used this deck a couple days ago and I, I was kind of resistant to using it, but it was very clear that this was the deck that wanted to come through. So we're going to uh, just dive right in. First card is relationships. I am attracted to those who serve my higher good. And you know, I've shuffled these a lot of times. If, you, if you've ever done your own card reading, sometimes you'll shuffle a deck and the same card comes up over and over again. But it seems like we're being reminded again um, this week that your twin flame relationship is a relationship while it is different than any other relationship because it's mirroring your your relationship with yourself and your relationship with God remember that it is a relationship it's not um, you know something that you can neglect you do have to still put in work to you know love yourself love your love God love your union um, and you know, have a relationship with yourself. And this also feels like there's um, a call to kind of be mindful of the relationships that you have. Are you crossing boundaries somewhere with um, someone else's relationship? Or are people crossing boundaries with you? Are you too familiar with some people? Or are they not treating you properly? Really get clear on all of your relationships and are they serving you? Are they really um, treating you the way that they should? Are they really supporting you where it matters? And if they're not, you know, you have to look at putting boundaries there um, so that, you know, you're not leaking your energy and so that you're properly taking care of yourself. Um, you know, sometimes, I think I said this in the reading the other day, but um, sometimes people will find that their relationships fall away, um, old relationships fall away when they start doing the inner healing work. And a lot of the reason for that is that they weren't honoring um, boundaries or they weren't. They found out that the person didn't actually love them and just wanted them kind of to stay in this misery that they were in uh, with them, right? Misery loves company. And sometimes you find that you have relationships like that. And sometimes those relationships are even family members and you put boundaries up with them and sometimes you have to let them go, but you're never going to lose anything that is in love. If you meet these people in love, that's a divine uh, relationship. And anywhere you meet them in love, you honor that that's where you're meeting them and you don't meet them anywhere else. So really take a look at your relationships today and uh, get clear on what feels good and what no longer is serving you. All right, the next card is surrender. I can release my need to control. Yeah, like this is so key, everybody. I don't know if I, I don't remember if we got this card the other day, but it's really, really key to surrender on this journey. Um, if you're trying to control how you and your twin flame come together, if you're trying to control what it looks like or what they're doing, um, or even controlling yourself and how you feel. If you're trying to just like ignore your feelings and only have the good feeling, positive vibes only, um, of course we want to feel good. Of course we want to feel peace and joy, but you have to acknowledge and feel through the bad feelings. If you bottle them up and try to ignore them and numb out to them, that's going to affect your union. That's going to affect your relationship with God. That's going to affect your relationship with yourself. And again, as extension uh, of you, your twin flame. So, um, you know, that doesn't mean you give up and surrender and you're super passive. It just means to let life play out. You can command your energy. You can um, choose love and support and you can choose your twin flame union and you can claim that in your heart but then you surrender it to god and say i claim this if it's for me you know i i want this this is mine i'm all in for it and then you let god do all the work to bring that to you as you are just loving and healing yourself all right 
the next card. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Okay, we got this one too. I'm like, what's going on? Um, okay. Yeah, this is kind of, I feel like this is a progression of the other reading that we had because it's a lot of the same cards, but I just took a peek. The last two are different. So this is very like, um, you know, I feel like this is kind of a natural progression of that energy from a couple days ago. So if you missed the reading, I believe it was Sunday, go look at that one, come back. Um, but again, this is a timeless reading. So, but um, if you're following them one by one, these are kind of fun to kind of see the progression of this healing energy and the, the energy that we're all moving through. But doubt, um, doubt only serves to, um, you know, take away your faith, which you don't want. You want your twin flame uh, to be with you. You can't hold doubts, right? You can't hold doubts of like, oh, I, I don't think they're going to be with me. I don't think I'm good enough. I don't know if this is real. All of those things contribute to creating your reality, right? You create your reality in every single moment, even if uh, you're numbed out to the things that are creating your reality, you are still creating those re that reality because that's how powerful you are that even your dormant thoughts and the deepest parts of your consciousness are helping to create your reality. Um, so the only way to, um, you know, get around that is to let go of those doubts and begin healing. Um, the doubt doesn't serve you. The doubt doesn't help you in any way. It doesn't, it's not, um, healthy skepticism, right? Like you can have kind of skepticism of like, oh, I'm not just going to buy into something. I'm going to do the healing work and find out for myself if this is how this works, right? But doubt is just like, I've seen the evidence and I, I don't know. I don't know. And just trying to reach for all these different excuses for why something isn't the way it is. Like doubt is just ego trying to, you know, throw you off the path. So it's safe to just let that go. And, um, you know, Love yourself and have faith. All right, next card is worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Yeah, this is exactly kind of the same thing here. Like worrying, doubt, all of that, that does not change the outcome. That does other than prevent you from having the outcome that you want. Worry does not get you closer to your twin flame worrying that things are going to go bad or you're going to do the wrong thing or they're going to be without karmic. All that does is put that energy into the universe saying like, oh, I think this is going to happen. And then it kind of like creates that reality where you see uh, your twin flame be with a karmic or say they don't want to be with you and all these things. And it doesn't happen immediately. But if you've been holding on to this worry and fear and uh, upset for a really long time, you start to experience that in your reality so that's a place where you need to love yourself like why are you afraid of losing your twin flame are you afraid of losing love love can't be lost and then you can love yourself there right that's how we heal that's how we use the near exercise we go through those steps of identifying what we're upset about and letting it go because it does not serve us all right and i love the overall arching card for this week is happiness because really what's happening is like you're letting go right you're letting go of all the fear the worry the doubt you're surrendering and you're really kind of coming into this place of relationship and happiness and that doesn't necessarily mean that you're, you and your twin flame are coming together today right that doesn't mean they're going to reach out it could it really could depending on where you're at in your healing journey it could be that this is what's happening for you right now that you're coming into union but it's really important to remember that your twin flame is not the source of your happiness so if you're looking at this and say like finally i'll be happy i'll be with my twin flame wrong way to look at it that's how you get them uh, running from you is because you're running from the own your own happiness within yourself but you coming into this happiness by letting go of those worries letting go of those doubts that's what's going to attract the relationship that you want and you start to have a relationship with happiness a relationship with god a better relationship with yourself because you're happy and you're following your flow and you're doing what you need to do and then from that happiness that's very attractive to your twin flame 
um, because in that happiness, you're probably doing the things you love. You're probably leaning more towards your purpose. You're feeling good and they will be right there, you know, wanting to magnify that and wanting to experience that with you. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. If you'd like your own personalized card reading, if you'd like some insights on what you're healing in your union, or if you'd like one-on-one -on -one coaching support, you can find my services at sacredtwinflameunion.com, and I will see you all in the next video.